Hello, 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 everyone. This is Corone, and I am here today to um to create and craft with you, and to make a couple of cards. Yes. Um, give me one second. Let me um try to share this video so that some other folks can can join us and make some cards today. All right, give me one second. Woohoo! I'm excited. Um, I am definitely trying to be a little bit more interactive with you guys so that you can see um, what it is I'm working on and how I am definitely trying to um, come to you a little bit more. I don't, I can't figure out how to share this thing. So we are just going to get started. First of all, let me apologize to you for my dogs because eventually and inevitably they are going to bark. That is just what they do. They bark and they bark like crazy. Um, hold on a second. I'm just going to adjust a little bit the camera so you'll see a little bit of shaking. Right. Hold on. There we go. I think that's better. All right. So today I'm going to create two uh, simple cards. Um for now, they're going to be Christmas versions, um, but you can definitely make these any type of cards um, that you want. The, the layout is very simple, um, and so it's just a matter of deciding whether you want a holiday card, you want a birthday card, you want a thank you card. Either way, it's a very simple, simple card. So let me share with you the products you're going to need um, in order to make this card. I'm trying to watch on my iPad so that can y'all hear me okay give me a thumbs up if you can hear me awesome give me a thumbs up if anybody can hear me this is Corona and yep. I am here today to I definitely awesome. got some feedback okay there we go give me a thumbs up if anybody can Trying to turn the volume down so I'm not talking every single place. Where is my settings? Mm -hmm. Man, all the things you got to go through just to make sure that <laughs> that you are, you can do a live video um, on, on chat. I promise you these cards are not going to take a lot, a lot of this time. Is See, I'm still I am hearing. Here today to... Okay, maybe you can't hear me now. Awesome. So please definitely, I think I'm ready to go now. All right, let's go. So today's card is going to be a simple card. I don't know where I am right now. And what I'm going to do is create two cards, the same card, and it's using the same um, card stock, the same designer series paper. And first, let me tell you, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! Uh, and what I do is I love to create simple yet elegant cards. And so today, I'm um, using um, a template that I found or from one of another felt Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I fell in love with this layout and I decided that I was going to create it and share it with you guys. If anybody's interested in be uh, learning how to stamp, uh, I am definitely willing um, and able to teach. Um, I do in-person classes as well as virtual classes. So let's get started. All right, so here's what you're going to need for today's card. So you're going to need cardstock, okay? And you're gonna need a half, using an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, you are going to cut this at on the 11 inch side you're going to cut it in half at five and a half and then you are going to score it on the eight and a half side at four and a quarter okay so to make things easier if you have the the, the products you score first and then you cut. So you do everything one time. So the first thing you'll do is on the eight and a half side is you'll score on four and a quarter. And then once you've done that, you'll cut on the, the, on the 11 side and you'll cut. That way you'll get two card bases um, at one time. 
okay then using your um using your bone folder definitely crease your edges your um your fold okay i like crisp folds and so that's what i do okay so the other thing that you're going to need so there's your card base this is a standard a2 card base which you look at it it will be a five and a half by four and a quarter our layout today is going to be horizontal so everything for us will be this way okay so what you'll need to make this card is the following you'll need a piece of colored cardstock this one is uh, wisteria wonder and this is cut a quarter inch smaller than your card base and so it's cut at four at four inches by five and a quarter you'll need another piece of whisper white cardstock and that again is cut a quarter inch smaller and so that will be cut at three and three quarter inches by five that's what you're going to need there you're also going to need a piece of what i call dsp designer series paper and this one i just used the same thing it had to just it's double-sided and so what you see on one side is different so i'm going to use both sides and make the two cards this piece is cut at two inches by five inches and i'm going to use a little bit of an accent color and this one is silver foil and so this one is cut at a half an inch by five okay in addition to these you will need your stamp set whatever sentiment you're looking for you're going to need some adhesive and um that's pretty much it so let's get started the first thing we are going to do is oh you're going to need a stamping block as well so let's get started so using the the five and a quarter by four inch piece you are going to start adhering your design and normally i would do that only because for new folks i have already laid out so i my stamp positioner is already um in place so why i'm gonna put this piece on first is so that i know how to line up my sentiment stamp where i want that to print okay so here we go we're gonna use an adhesive and i am using the stampin up stampin seal plus and I'm gonna go with this side like this, okay? Now this adhesive is pretty darn um, strong, so you really don't need to add a lot, but I like to make sure that my corners are definitely sealed so that you can't lift it. If you send it to someone, they, it can't lift, it can't get caught on anything and um, destroy your card in the making okay now because of the card that i'm making i am just simply going to like using the um my table as a guide as well is i'm just going to line it up and make sure corner to corner and then i'm going to adhere it Add a little bit of pressure here to make sure that it is sealed okay then the next thing I'm gonna do is adhere the silver strip all right and let me tell you guys this one thing that I can't do is I can't cut a straight line to save my my life okay <laughs> so again add a little bit of adhesive And then we are just going to adhere this now to the cardstock as well. Um, now, I try to use as a guide, if there's one side that seems a little bit straighter than the other, that's the guide I use. Because if you have to trim, I only want to have to trim on one side, not on both sides. Okay? So here we go. We're lined up. And there you go. You guys, this card is almost finished. Okay? Okay. And so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to stamp. Now, 
like I told you before, I can't stamp a straight line to save my life. So I use a stamp positioner. This one is called a Misty, and yes, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. We do have the Stamparatus. I do use the Stamparatus. This one just fits per perfectly in the frame, and so that's why I chose to continue to use my, um, my uh, Misty. And as you can see, I have already lined up the stamp where it's going to go. It still looks a little bit on the straight side to me, so I'm going to go ahead, ink my stamp up, and then continue to stamp now I want this to be even like the background is kind of a little bit on the um, blue side so I want this to be darker than the shade so I'm gonna go with a color that we call um, blueberry bushel or am I gonna go with night and navy I think I'm gonna go with night and navy so I'm gonna bring out my night and navy ink pad Open the ink pad, ink up my stamp, and the good thing about a stamp positioner is if you um, if you don't get a very good solid impression, because the positioner everything is in the same place, you can re-ink it and get a better impression. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, our greeting is done, and it says Christmas blessing to you and yours. I think I have a very good impression, so I don't need to add or re-ink it again, okay? Now, before I adhere this to the blue piece, I'm going to check to make sure that all of my edges are aligned, okay? Because as you can see, I'm a little off here and I'm a little off there. So I'm gonna go in with my trimmer, if I can find it. And I am going to And I'm going to go in and just slightly trim to make sure that I have a straight and even edge. Just lightly. Slightly, I should say. So you see now this edge is perfectly straight. And I'm going to do that on the other side as well. So there we go. So the next thing that we're gonna do with this is we are gonna take this piece of cardstock and we are gonna adhere this to the blue, which one was this card? This was Seaside Spray, sorry. This is the name of the, this color is Seaside Spray. And so all we're gonna do is we're going to adhere the Seaside Spray uh, the to the card panel that we just created. Now, I love to use liquid glue for the most part, okay? Because again, I can't put any, I can't do anything in a straight line and being able to, liquid glue gives you about a, a quick second to be able to make any kind of adjustments um, before it seals completely. Um, tape, uh, adhesive not so much typically once it's down it's very hard for you to to move it okay so now I am going to oops take that off of there I am going to now adhere this card panel to this blue or seaside spray um, card four by five and a quarter panel now remember this panel was cut a quarter inch less, a quarter inch more than this white piece. And so at a quarter inch more, that means you allow for an eighth of an inch on each side, and that's one eighth and one eighth gives you a quarter. So it allows for a border that is 
um, a quarter, an eighth of an inch um, thicker. If I had aligned it fully with the left or right, you would have seen a quarter inch um, panel on this side. So this side's done. And then the very last thing that we're going to do, guys, is we are going to adhere this to our card base, like so. And then our first card in our first colorway is complete. I'm not seeing any questions scrolling. So um, if anybody has any questions, when I go back through the video, if there are any questions, I will definitely respond to the questions. Um, I'm definitely going to have to work on my camera set up so that uh, you guys are I'm able to see questions as they scroll up I'm not sure why I'm not though oh wait there you go is that it right there comments on okay maybe I can see stuff now all right so taking this part and now we are going to adhere this guy to our card base. Et voila! You guys have created our very first Christmas card together. Very simple, very elegant. Something that you would not be, what I would say, um, embarrassed, if anything, to give to someone as a homemade project. I love this card. So now we're going to go through and make the second card. And we're going to make this one probably a little bit quicker because we've done this one before. All right. So if we remember, what we're going to do is we are going to align this and this. And this time, this is where we're going to use more of a purple tone in our card base. Hey, Sharon, how are you? Thanks for joining me today. Right. And I'm going to go back with my liquid glue, which I don't know where I put it. Right. And because I want more of the purple, I'm going to make sure that I use the other side um, of the this designer series paper. And when I, <laughs> typically when I put adhesive, especially the liquid glue, I go in an X pattern and then I come across the, the sides. Why do I do that? Because I want to make sure that my card sticks. I don't like, I've received some cards where, um, you know, the edges lift up and I'm like, although, although the card is beautiful, I'm like, you know, it just doesn't seem to be a little bit on the. I don't want to say professional because we're not professional, some of us, um, card makers. But it just seems a little bit better or that you took a little bit better time to create that card. So here we go. Oops, something slipped here. And again, because the liquid glue is a little bit more forgiving, I had a little bit more time to pick that up and fix what I needed to fix. All right, I had my piece of silver foil. And we're going to adhere that guy to the silver foil piece. And I can already see that when I cut it, it was a little off. So again, I'm going to have to bring the trimmer back in and do a little bit of trimming. Hey, Laura, how are you? Thanks for joining me today. And so with this, again, I want to line it up so that I trim mainly on one side and not both. And I put the silver strip flush with the ends of the designer series paper. Um, so you can see that and you can see I'm probably going to have to cut off about an eighth of an inch on this side just because somehow or another I cut it short. I don't even know how I did that, but I did. So here I go, bring in the trimmer. <clears throat> Now, if you don't have a uh, trimmer, you can use uh, the shears, you can use snips, you can use whatever you need um, just to even up your corners, okay? And there you go. 
now that this is done, I am now going to stamp the sentiment on the top. And last time we did that in, um, what did we do it in? We did it in Night of Navy, but this time I'm going to do it in a purple color. Hmm. And I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use the Stampin' Up um, Gorgeous Grape is the color I think I'm going to use. Because I really want a deep, rich um, purple color. And so let me clean off my stamp so I don't have so much of the blue color transfer. Because that's what I used before. I used Night of Navy. And now I'm going to grab my Gorgeous Grape. See the color? It's gorgeous grape. And I am going to ink that stamp up. Make sure I put my sentiment, my um, card piece, my layer ink panel in. Now remember, because I did not take this um, stamp set off, it's going to stamp in the exact position as the previous one. Okay. It's going to stamp in the exact position. That's why, and this is what you use this, this, this uh, platform for. If you're going to make multiples of the same, um, same card, um, definitely perfect for that. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. I'm going to try to do a little bit more inking because I want it a little bit darker. Now, this is the part. Now, because I went flush in the, in the, misty i have to make sure that i'm still flush in that corner in order for the sentiment to come out in the same exact spot hopefully i didn't mess it up <laughs> and i didn't Woohoo! thank you jesus so there you go that's card number the panel is complete put this aside Now I'm going to adhere this to the Whisper, the um, Wisteria Wonder card stack. Now, do you see the difference? You can see how it picks up the purple more in this card versus the blues. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to be able to do a blue and a um, purple tone card. So there you go. Again, I'm going back in with the liquid adhesive. Down the sides, down the sides. Now I already did the center, so you know I don't really have to do much in there. And then this card will be finished as well. I don't stamp on the. I you could stamp a, a sentiment on the inside of the card. You can definitely do that. Um, you can add more embellishments to the card. I have not done that. Um, let me tell you some of the other things that I think we could do to this card just to step it up just a little bit. Uh-huh. There we go. I got to think a little bit when I'm aligning the card, so notice all my speech stopped, right? <laughs> yeah, I think we're good. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to do is add it to our card front. Now, why do I drag the tip of my uh, glue container? That way, it can as I'm dragging the, the tip, um, any excess glue that comes off, it kind of rubs itself off, so it doesn't clog. Um, it doesn't clog the the tip for the next use. The other thing when you're making your card is you got to make sure that you're when you adhere it that you're adhering it from the right side. Um, me well, from the right side beating i wouldn't want to put this this way because my card doesn't open that way so just make sure that your opening is at the right in the right direction for your card 
and then we just adhere that and I think we're good there you go you guys we have just made two cards in less than an hour again crease uh, crease your edges to make sure you have a tight uh, clean crisp fold line and there we have our two cards two cards same de uh, designer series paper different colors the reverse side of each one two Christmas cards completely done I hope you enjoyed making this quick cards with me. Um, if you are interested, definitely uh, join my page uh, at uh, www. Uh, I'm sorry, Facebook on my Facebook page at Sweet Stampin Creations, um, and definitely join me for more card making. You guys have a blessed Saturday, and I'm going to continue to craft. Y'all have a good day. Oh, see, I'm just now seeing your comment, Sharon. Does my liquid glue come in that? I do. It does not come in that container. I do a transfer. Um, it's just smaller and it's easier on my hands. Um, let me see if I can find them. So on Amazon, um, I went ahead and I purchased um, a whole bunch of these little tubes um, right here. And they come with... Um, these little these little lids and so when I buy my my glue in bulk I um, when I buy my glue in bulk I just do transfer so it's these little um, tubes let's see I don't know if you can see this I'm blind as a bat but if I find it on my um, on my page um, on my Amazon page, I'll share the link with you as to what I used. Oh, there you can see it. Okay, so that's what I used for that. And I do transfer my ink. Let me see if there's any other questions. I don't see any other questions. So guys, um, I, I'm going to create a tutorial for these cards really quickly. Um, if anybody's interested in getting the tutorials or even kits to prepare these, definitely let me know um, and we can make those available for you. Thank you guys. Have a great Saturday. And as I said, I'm going to continue to craft.